After the hurricane, everything was broken, like everywhere was broken. We never lost everything like this time. We lost everything. A lot of people think, oh, it's been almost a year and you know, everything is taken care of, but there are still families living in homes with mold, uh, holes in their roof. The teachers, we all noticed that when they, you know, they came back, a lot of them were very, like, distraught. They still have that pain, that they lose their house, that they lose everything. The work that Save the Children is doing here in Florida, it's, it's critical. We're reaching out to populations that were forgotten about in the initial response. It's a really high priority uh, for us to get kids back into school and back into childcare. Save the Children's funding allowed us to get back to work right away and got the kids into a, um, you know, what was their normal. Not just the financial donations that we received from Save the Children, but the program support. Post Irma, I really love the fact that we have the emergency, the pep rally, the emergency prep. You know, preparedness program, it can be really empowering. If we are to have another storm or another emergency in this area, I think we see a valuable role that kids can play. It helps the kids in every which way. Maybe the mom can't help the child because she don't know how, but there's people that can help. That's when Save the Children comes in. There's still quite a bit of work to be done to get our families and communities where they need to be. It's not done yet. It's still a work. We're still working. It's hard. It's really hard. The community is, is really not the same anymore with this storm. We all have to be there for those children all the time and for those families. That's why Save the Children is there for us.